Here's somebody that must have been a challenge. As Georgia champion, you wrestled a number of people. Thunderbolt Patterson, how'd you get a match out of the T-Bolt? I didn't get a match out of the <laughs> um, I know Thunderbolt's an ordained minister. Thunderbolt tried to get me fired a, what? Couple, a couple times. For what? Because he figured I was trying to beat him up, and I was trying to make a match out of it. You know, uh, I tell a story one time, you know, <clears throat> People know Greg Valentine. Well, my finish, setting up the finish to the Cobra, was a flying clothesline. So I tell this to get to Thunderbolt. I get throw Valentine in. And when you see Greg Ashkin, I hit Valentine with a clothesline. I left my feet, and I, boom, hit the mat, and I'm looking around. Yeah, that's it, right. It, it wasn't a lariat style. It was when, when you caught was, him, you kicked your feet out, he kicked his feet out, boom. and down, boom. And I come off the rope. 150 miles an hour and laid it into him. I hit the mat and I look and Valentine's just rocking. <laughs> rocking in the middle of the ring. Staggers and he goes against the damn rope. Next night I work against him again. I guess, well, okay, throw him in. And I went through him. Yeah. And I heard a, ooh. <laughs> and he went down. After the matches. The hell did you hit me so hard for? I said, well, last night I thought I missed you, so I want to make sure. <laughs> so I did the same thing to Thunderbolt Patterson. He wouldn't sell. This business is give and take. It's not take-take. Yeah. I want to have a good match. I want you to have a good match, but we have to have a good match together. Thunderbolt was in it for him. So we were working in um, Marietta, Georgia. Never forget. I get home about 1130, get a phone call. My boy, you have to come in and talk to me tomorrow. Talk to you, see you in the morning. He called Barnett as soon as he got off the... T-Bone's upset. Yeah. D do you but think... I didn't get fired. Well. We just had to just switch it. You know who, what, you know who was really pissed off? Oli, because Oli, they took me out of the program with Thunderbolt, and Oli had to work around And, oh, and, and now Oli's the thanks Because nobody wanted the, to work yeah. with Thunderbolt. And, you know, and that was a shame because there was a guy that at one point drew tremendous money, and he had the, the ability to talk. He was a natural with the black audience in the mm -hmm. South, but he appealed to everybody wherever he went, white, black, whatever. He talked, and he had that rap and, and that aura about him, but, but Jim, he you, couldn't or wouldn't. Here's, here's what happens. You know it. <clears throat> How many guys will you see in an event that actually believe they did what they did? Yeah. You didn't help them, and I didn't help them. They won. Yeah. No, we helped them win. Yeah. It, but that's, that's their, and, and that's, do you think that's why he adopted the, the, every time that he couldn't get a job or couldn't get a push, because you couldn't put a belt on him because you couldn't get it off of him. From what I understand. Couldn't have a Cadillac tournament. You couldn't have a Cadillac tournament. He'd keep the car. Yeah. And then when, and Ole booked him many more times than most people would because Ole knew that he was a, a money card and he, yeah. he did like him. But that's when he, he started the discrimination lawsuits. If he couldn't get booked, well, I'll sue. Yeah. And then they'd give him a pity booking. And that didn't do anybody any good. Yeah. Was he his own worst enemy? Because he at one point was, was such a big star and just. Well, see, I. I... I can't comment on it honestly because I don't like the guy. <laughs> okay. And there's not too many people, you know me. Yeah. I, I like almost everybody.